did we just see Ultra Instinct Asta? Hey YouTube, it's basically anime today. We have Black Clover Chapter 269 to get in today. Now, we left off with a major flashback in Chapter 268. But before we get into this, if you're first time with this channel, if you love Black Clover manga and anime related content, feel free to stick around and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post. And let's get into this chapter. And now we left off as Asta triggered a flashback from Malia Bay, Rebay, or AMD, whatever you know him by. And we kind of found out that Asta's mom or ancestor hasn't been confirmed, was Malia Bay's adopted mother. We also found out that she can sort of steal magic or negate magic similar to Asta's anti-magic. We also find out that she she's like the originator of some sort of anti-magic and she sealed Malia Bay into the five leaf grimoire and it kind of got passed down. Or I won't say passed down the grimoire kind of found Oscar so we now know where the grimoire came from and where the anti-magic came from but he just had a flashback and now he's ready to kill all the beings that just killed his mom and like bullied him when he was a kid and Asta apparently they didn't hear his flashback he was flashing back on his own the only part they heard was I'm gonna take your body so I can kill all the beings that took their anger out on me but we're gonna get into that so Asta is starting off by saying this key is enormous amount of rage and hatred and sorrow so also then knows by reading his key whatever this dude is going through it's not good anger sorrow hatred it's just a place of negativity he says i see you have a reason to then i will take that feeling by fighting and win amd or leave here since says cut the crap no way one arm kick without magic could beat me now let's be honest he's describing us to you're a one arm kid without magic but we know him, the viewers, as somebody more than just a kid without magic, using anti-magic. His physicality is pretty strong too. I'm not saying that he's going to win off right off the bat, but he's nothing to joke with. Even with swords, even without anti-magic, he would be a pretty good swordsman. As AMD slams one of his uh, anti-magic swords using a miniature black divider spell into the ground, but Asta is able to dodge it and swerves around it and heads straight for Lie Bay and punches him in the face with a direct hit, sending Lie Bay or Rebay or AMD, whatever, flying back. It isn't crap. I will win with this body. So Asta's like, I don't care about this anti-magic. If I get a sword, whatever, but this is my body and I'm going to take it back and I'm going to win. We see Nock staring at this fight and we hear a dialogue. The essence, which I'm assuming is his thoughts. The essence of anti-magic that the devil uses is the power to delete a magic. This fight isn't disadvantaged. This this fight isn't disadvantages against Asta who can't use magic from the start because how can you delete magic that's not there? But all of a sudden, Asta's grimoire then pops out again, but Asta did not summon it. And two of his remaining swords, so I'm pretty sure it's the Demon Dweller Sword and the Demon Destroyer Sword, they just float out and straight to AMD just like a few chapters ago and we see him coat these swords with anti-magic. That doesn't mean I will lose AMD or Lee Bay says but Yami's Katana now we last saw this when Asta kind of summoned it or he had it in his hand starts to fly out the grimoire and he's like Captain Yami's sword and Asta holds on to it like you can take all my three other swords come on but you're not taking Captain Yami's sword and tries to hold on to it but Without my power, it's nothing but a heavy dull sword. AMD says as he sends the three swords flying at Asta. He dodges the first one, swerves out the second one, but is hit but manages to deflect it with Yami's katana with the third one. AMD screams, no matter how high your physical ability is, you can't teleport or even destroy still. Asta could probably destroy steel with one of his swords. I'm trying to tell you guys, anti-magic or no, he's pretty good with physical terms. He's pretty above human. He's superhuman in speed, strength, durability, endurance, everything. He is superhuman or above human. And the thing is, he doesn't need his anti-magic. But anyway, we leave off. As you see in this panel, he's swerving out of the way with these super fast swords. But anyway, he uses one of these miniature black divider spells, enlarges the sword, and slams it on the ground where Asta is standing. Asta manages to deflect it with Yami's katana, but he's barely hanging on as the sword pushes him deeper and deeper into the ground. Yet AMD Alibia says, nothing's gonna work against the beings of higher rank. You can't win. Why he's saying this, we get a close up on him. 
and he's thinking about the five leaf clover, the place he's been stuck in for years. Sealed in the five leaf clover, I felt like I'm floating around nowhere. In that place, as we see all these negative thoughts go through his head, I won't forgive, I'll kill, as he didn't have any time to mourn his uh, mother. Like, Lucy Fierro killed her, sealed into the book, that's it, that's the timeline, no mourning period, just, just straight sealed, he's thinking about what just happened, definitely, I hate them, I won't forgive, I'll kill, I'll curse them. The magic that I, the magic that I without mana manifested was anti-magic, which deletes magic, and I like that we're getting more of an explanation, because to be honest, there's like three different forms of anti-magic to me, delete magic, nullify magic Asta's nullifying it doesn't really delete it but nullifies the magic and absorbs magic so i guess we're gonna start to see different aspects of anti-magic with this ancestor who is now dead unfortunately and amd i wish they gave an ancestor a little bit more screen time or panel time i guess i wanted to see her alive more but that's besides this point as he begins his, or continues his monologue i gained the power but i couldn't leave the grimoire as we now know that he kind of absorbed the anti-magic in the five grimoire which was kind of an aspect of Lakita's magic now this is this is just confusing either he has the ability to absorb magic within himself but or it's an aspect of Lakita's magic she said that she can seal stuff into other stuff maybe she sealed anti-magic into him we don't know but all we know he has anti-magic and has been providing it to Asta this whole time anyway he flashes back to when the grimoire chose Asta on that moment, the grimoire chose a human. For monolith self to be out in the human world, it seems like I have to possess this monolith human, even if I have to take this bo bastard's body. So from the get-go, from the time that Asta first touched this grimoire, first touched the sword, he wanted Asta's body since it's like there's no grim, there's no mana in his body, so it's like a host, it's a perfect host for my anti-magic. So from the start, he wanted to take his body. Head to the Spade Kingdom and kill Lucy Fear or anybody that is left. Either way, back into the real world, he screams, I will kill the devils. No way this tenacity will lose. As these three giant anti magic swords start to swirl, swirl around in the air and they are headed for Asta. Asta standing still. His hand, I would say, hand behind the back, but obviously he doesn't have a other arm. Katana in hand and just takes a deep breath. These three swords go straight for him. The first one, he deflects. The other one, he jumps over. The other one, he practically sidesteps. Um, AMD or Liebe is like, what's going on? Hey, hey, if I focus and read your key, your sword is too easy to read. As he flashes back to the dude from the Sea Temple arc. I don't think that was the exact name of the arc, but you get what I'm saying. That, that guy, one of the... The brother of the two bro uh, the brother of the two siblings, brother and sister, the one that went against Asta inside the temple. It was like a test. Anyway, you guys remember he was able to read Asta's sort of key or read his sword movements, so he was able to predict what was gonna happen next. But he practically is copying what this dude is doing. Asta's mimicking that technique in reading the sword movements of Lie Bei. Even though Lie Bei isn't touching the sword, he's controlling them telekinetically or whatever. He is control or he's reading these sword movements and manages to deflect or dodge or sidestep each of these lunges at him. And then we hear Asta. Till now, the near movements of the magic knights that has seen countless magic swordsmen he fought and fought together. So what they're saying is Asta has seen and seen most of multiple swordsmen of the magic knights like yami that dude from the sea temple who was licked he has seen multiple swordsmen across the whole kingdom or the whole world i should say and he's practically just using some of their moves now and asa's a fast he's a fast learner either way they say he fought and fought together he has trained his body till now and even after earning the power of anti-magic but there's a limit to the body to no matter how hard you train no way you can be strong magic but Asta's effort wasn't a useless one. As we see him use Yami's move, Yami's, I don't know the exact move, but one of Yami's sword techniques, as we see Yami symbolically and metaphorically, you know how these magna emotional stuff works, see a shadow of Yami doing the same move, and it manages to connect on Liebe as he kind of like slashes his sword through his upper torso. Now, what I'm hearing, what I'm, or what I'm thinking when I'm hearing of this, Asa has been fighting multiple swordsmen. He's been seeing multiple techniques from different magic knights throughout the kingdom. Asta is starting to pick up on these techniques and 
making it his own instead of theirs and adding anti-magic to it adding his physicality to it is making a killer combo as he was able to slash open liebe with this fight against the being of anti-magic and we also see yami's face next to asta similar to what happened when they were facing against dante when okay they didn't use the exact same move but you get what i mean asta and yami he's thinking of yami when he's using this move Knock is happy. Knock got what he won, and now there was some talk about Knock. There was some like fake spoilers. Knock being mad at them because they didn't want to fight each other. We clearly see here they are fighting each other. Asta just used Yami's move to take down Lee and Bay. But besides that, Knock is pretty happy. You know, Asta finally got his head straight and said, I gotta take this dude down. Lee and Bay's like, ah. But I feel kind of bad for Lee and Bay. Lee and Bay, yeah, he's, his intentions are not that good, but they're good at the same time. And he doesn't want to spare Asta's life, or he kind of wants to kill Asta, but he's doing it for a good cause, which is making Lucy Fear pay. I don't really care at this point what happens as long as Lucy Fear pays. The one you're fighting against is not just a bastard who can't use magic, Asta says, as he's, as he's close enough to do another attack. Either way, he says, it's a bastard who fought against countless ferocious opponents. As he flashes back to the dude with the wind tour technique, I forgot his name. He was like, in the anime, he was pretty cool. He taught Asta. He was the main teacher of Asta's swordsman's techniques. The other one from the sea temple that we saw earlier, we see Yami, the one that he just used his move. Um, I don't know what it's called, but he just used Yami's moves. We then see Licked, who I wouldn't say taught him how to use his sword. I would say that since Lick gave him a hard time, it kind of made him push himself to the limits using Black Asta with the Asta and Universe Lick fight. We also see Mars, so it's pretty cool. We're flashing back to all his villains as some of them are friends or all of them are friends now. So he then slashes Lee Bay with another attack. Lee Bay is like, ah, there's no way that I'll lose. I have been cursing until now. I am alone. Oh, he said, I have been cursed till now. I've been alone. But out of nowhere, Asta gets Yami's katana and says, I will win. And for some reason, this panel doesn't make sense to me. If you have a sharp katana, you stick it in a forward motion, a straight, just straight forward motion at somebody's chin or face. The katana will go through. But I don't know if you guys seen the panel, but in this panel, he hits Liebe with the katana. The katana practically knocks his head back. I mean, in real world physics, that katana using Asa's Os uh, superhuman speed and strength, that katana should have gone straight through his skull. Like, come on. But it is Black Clover, I and mean, we wouldn't want to see Liebe die. But in the real world, if you punt like, put like, a katana it might be rusty and dull but if you put a sharp katana and like punt it at somebody's face it's gonna go through your face i'm not gonna bore you guys with a long review i'd give this a 10 out of 10 you guys know i love any piece of action that is given to me and it was pretty cool to see us like swerving around all those swords that was pretty cool you know ultra instant asta is probably not a thing but it could be a thing in the fandom but anyway i like that he was using other swordsmen he's gone against moves like yami's the yami scene was actually pretty good i don't understand why liebe is not dead with the katana to the face but it's black clover either way the plot storyline is going accordingly i would love to see them speed it up a little bit just a little bit to the war arc against the clover kingdom and the spade kingdom i will hope to see the diamond kingdom and the other kingdoms help this clover kingdom against the spade kingdom or we oh my gosh that's actually a pretty cool theory i'll think about it but anyway let me know what you guys thought about this chapter down in the comments if you like black clover content like me make sure to subscribe to the channel for more black clover manga and anime related content if you're a first time with the channel remember to turn your post notification so you can know if i definitely post